Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her ungone. I know you've got a lot on your mind, but that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future, you'll use your words instead of your fists. I will, Mom. I promise. Thank you, baby. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. Ugh. Another headache? Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took me by surprise. I wish I could help. I know you do. Some things, Peter. They're not yours to control. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. I know that's not always easy for you. I'll be a perfect little angel. Like always. Hmm. I better hurry back then. I'll be back soon. Hey, Pete. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copied? Yeah. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing, anyway? She's fine. Well, glad to hear it. Both sides? Come back in about an hour, and it'll be ready. Hey, Petey! You make that mix for your boyfriend? Ha 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 ha. I made it for your mom. Watch it, or you'll be swallowing your own teeth. Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> you afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. Pretending you got balls. Hey, how's that lip doing? Give me that. What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. She's been going door to door asking for help like some pathetic loser. She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Screw you! Aww. I heard Petey's little feelings. You gonna go cry to mommy? Have her change your diapers? Because your daddy definitely can't. You gonna cry now? Huh? You done yet? Elephant ears? You must get great reception with those things. Nah, I'm not done. But your mom? She sure is. My dad goes drinking with her doctor. Told him everything. Guess she didn't feel like it was important enough to tell you. Oh, check it out! Dead woman walking! 
What's the point? Drugs ain't gonna help. My dad says you're gonna die anyway. My mom's gonna be fine. She just needs the right medicine. Get her some poison. At least then she won't be wasting money trying to get better. Get out! My dad's gonna- Out! You kept your promise. You didn't fight that jerk. I'm proud of you, Peter. Even though I didn't set a very good example. The things he said. I let my emotions get the better of me. I'm sorry you heard that. No, Peter. It's okay. He said you were dying, Mom. Is that true? Find me, please. You're so close, Peter. <sighs> what the? How did I get home? This temple is really messing with my head. Hello, Gamora. Ah! Whoa! Hey, Gamora! Come on, what, what are you doing? You can do better than that. Back off, Gamora. Seriously. Stop it! Come on, this isn't fair! I don't have a sword! Nebula. You need to be aware of everything around you. Perception's just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over. Be patient, Nebula. You'll get your chance soon enough. So now I need patience too? Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> that was actually a little impressive. Just a little? You're hurting me! Father! Nebula, you have grown so much. Father... You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. 
Don't you agree, Gamora? <laughs> I do. She's come a long way. What a pleasant surprise. Perhaps being bested by your sister recalled the importance of humility. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, you will fetch the device for me. You, Nebula, you will kill the General. Thank you, Father. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Gamora, you were always my favorite. But you have become cold, distant. We will not disappoint you, Father. But you already have, Gamora. Otherwise, you would not be taking Nebula with you. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. And Gamora, I know you no longer care. But if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. Is everything all right? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but Father... <sighs> Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? This is it. My chance to prove myself. Or fail miserably. <sighs> Don't worry, Nebula. I've got your back. No. I've got to do this myself. It's what I've been training for. I won't let Father down. Let's just do this. Nebula! Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! Father will be so upset with me. I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Father...
Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Fine, here. Hey, it's going to be fine. We're going to be okay. was trying to snap you out of it before you killed me. Well, that's <clears throat> not the way to do it. Well, apparently it was. Stop. Stop slapping me. Stop it. Okay, 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 okay. Uncle, uncle. Don't do that again. I don't know what happened. One minute you and I were walking into the temple, and the next yeah, I was... Yeah, I, uh... I know. Wait, were you... Did you see all that? My memory? Are you okay? I've been trying not to think of that day. Because I really want to fix things with Nebula. But seeing that... She thought I was being selfish, taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. I saw what happened. You were just trying to protect her. You can't blame yourself for that. I'm not so sure. That last moment, it became everything. All I remembered of her. But there were times we were happy despite Thanos despite everything we had each other maybe maybe I could have done more been more honest with how I was feeling stop just seeing her as someone I needed to protect I know you Gamora and I know you tried your absolute best to protect her Nebula can't see that then that's her problem, not yours. Is it? Nebula is who she is because of me. That hatred, that coldness, her inability to trust anyone. She is Thanos' daughter. Who else could she be after I betrayed her? I failed her. Listen to me. You didn't fail her. You don't fail at anything. You are the strongest person I know, okay? And I respect the hell out of you for that. And I don't just mean the ass kicking. I mean, believe me, you kick some serious ass. I do kick a lot of ass, huh? Hell yeah, you do. Now come on. Let's figure out why the Forge brought us here before things get even more... ...weird. My mom loved this song. She played that record non-stop. Peter, wait. This place... It seems to be using our memories against us. We don't know what we'll find inside or why it's been drawing us here. Gamora, my mom could be in there. I need to do this. 
All right, Peter. I'm with you. Do you recognize this place? Yeah. This is where my mom... Uh, this is where I saw her last. I don't know what all this means, Peter. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Only one way to find out. That looked so, so painful. Are you okay? Yes. Now that you are here. Not your mom, right? Definitely not. You... you came for me. After all these... Ooh, what are these? They're very shiny. Hey, over here. Ah, <sighs> Peter Quill. Really, here. It's been centuries. No, millennia. How do you know who I am? We have met. But I was not me. I am called Mantis. Yeah, sure. What? I have another one. to be free of that tomb, no longer trapped in my own mind, alone. Yeah. 
You are truly the hero the legends foretold. So brave and handsome. Though perhaps not in the classical sense. What? Ha! You must have many questions for me. Why were you locked in here? So that you could find me. Not very helpful. I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the Celestial One. That you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could. Through your memories. The ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I... Oh no. That is not what I wanted at all. I am so sorry. I truly did not know you'd feel so violated. I'd hoped you would feel glad to see her again. I did not mean for my abilities to hurt you. Though... You are offended. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh. No. Never mind. May I show you? Please. I mean no harm. Do it again! Do it again! Come on! With great pleasure! Oh, this isn't going to go well. Oh my. You and your friends truly are special. No wonder you are the ones to hold the Eternity Forge. It is an honor to be among you. You see... I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Yeah. Introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. <laughs> who should we try on first? I got just the one. Uh, something's supposed to be happening here? This furry little creature is unfathomably sad. Hey! Now he is scared and angry. Hey, cut it out! What is this, Quill? What's the bug lady doing to me? Mantis is an empath, Rocket. She can sense your emotions. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that Psycho Hala for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? She knows about the Eternity Forge. She says she's connected to it. That's supposed to make me less confused? Oh, I can explain. <sighs> Long ago... Wait, wait, wait. Are you going to spew some long mumbo-jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like, now that I got this, I'm going to roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. The answer is magic. It's always magic. And that is good enough for me. Her story might be important. I guess Quill ain't got an opinion. Skip it, bug lady. There is a legend of the Celestial One. The Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One. What are they like? Advanced intellect. Emotionally mature. Wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires. Yeah, I think you got the wrong guy here. I'm just a kid from Earth. It does not matter where you were born. It only matters what you do. You are the Celestial One, Peter. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this Celestial What's-It, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on... someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. 
The forge is limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and undeteriorated. <sighs> I am Groot. Ah, well, that explains Hala's delightful corpse collection. She'll bring them all back if she gets the forge. Fantastic! So it's incredibly useful to our worst enemy, but useless to us. It can be made more useful. How? The Celestial One must deliver the Forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power, or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Lost ones, loved ones. You can bring back anyone? Like, anyone at all? Anyone who ever existed can be brought back, so long as you have the required energy, of course. One life for one life. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Then let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes! Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right Hala now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family is returned I to me. I am Groot. I Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, okay, not cool, man. Don't lie to us. I'm sorry, I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. Oh, and lying to you, that was a one-time thing. I am Groot. Okay, a two-time thing. So... It is a tie, then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. At a cost. Right now? I'm leaning towards using it. Atta boy. <sighs> Look, we can undo things that never should have happened. Thank you, Peter. Well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. Please, stop. <laughs> I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Calm down? Did you really just tell me to calm down? Because you just had to let everyone know you were alive and what- Everything okay here? Not now. Just give us a minute, please. Hey, bud, what's up? Hey, Pete. You know, I just want to say, you've really been there for me lately. Go with me to Half World, even when that lug nut nebula turned up. You stuck by your promise. Yeah, well... <laughs> and now, now you're gonna get that damn forge to work. Of course, it would have taken someone really idiotic to want to destroy the thing. But wait, wait, you were serious about using it, right? You weren't just pulling my leg. I mean, I mean, that would, that would be one sick joke. Come on, Rocket, do I look like an idiot to you? I am Groot. Don't answer that. But yes, I was serious about using the forge. 100%. That's what I like to hear! Up top! Yeah! Let's bring back the dead. Wow, that sounded a lot creepier out loud. Hey, P. You know, you know what you... You know what you... Well, that's one way to deal with emotions. I am brute.
Drax, how are you doing? I was angry that you did not allow me to guard Nebula. But that... <sighs> but now, I am hopeful. The Forge can bring my family back, if you choose to use it. Well, I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. Huh? You used that antenna woman's powers without permission. It was wrong of you to do that. Rocket was clearly angered by what that woman said about his emotions. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Was it? Our feelings are our own. They belong to us alone. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done it. I'm sorry, it, bad taste on my part. I am glad you are so apologetic. Though I do not understand how your mistake could taste badly. Her ability to see into our emotions, it must be difficult. I would not wish to know the pain of others, as well as my own. Thank you for checking in on me, Peter. You may leave now. Fine. Fine! 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 Hey, are you okay? The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while... Ugh. She won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. That's just who she is now. You need to accept that. I know. It was stupid to even talk to her. Nebula and I, there's no fixing that. We're better off apart. She can get on with her life, and I can get on with mine. I think you're right. She shouldn't stay with us. Let her go somewhere else. Anywhere else. As long as it's far from me. I'm done with her. Um, hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey, it's me, <laughs> Peter Quill, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool, yeah, this is, uh, this is really... How's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. So, thanks. Oh, man. You were awesome. And you only had one arm. Well, yeah. Nice to know someone appreciates my skills. Gamora never could. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. I know she had to have told you something. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? She saved your life from that Kree general dude. I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> 